Hi everybody, Mike McConville. Welcome back. Stratford, Ontario, Canada for Strength Tech Workstations. We've got this 1965 uh, 6124 Gretsch guitar, which was the Pig and Whistle Show guitar. Now this is going to be a complete refret and we're doing some major correction on the fingerboard. We also have a 40th anniversary Strat, American Strat of course. We'll be doing a complete refret too. i got to bring you in. So have a look. Bob is a long time friend and local customer. I've been working on his guitars for years. When we looked at this when he brought it in, I thought, oh my god, there's not enough left to dress on this one. This is going to be a complete refresh. Anyway, as always, you'll get a play-by-play -play on the Patreon channel. We'll show you precisely how to do this work professionally. Cheers. So I've got both of these set up on their perspective tech decks, and we're, uh, we're doing them in tandem. So I don't have any vices, I don't have any CNC machines, I'm not clamping the guitar. Everything is supported, the neck and the body simultaneously. I'm bringing this headstock right up to chest level. I get a perfect view of the neck. We're also going to take care of a little bit of a skip at the end of the fingerboard as well. This is the beauty of doing a complete refret, especially when you got that much real estate on the fingerboard. Big healthy fingerboard, we're going to get this thing laser straight along the trajectory of the string path. We all know what a truss rod is supposed to do. How the neck reacts from side to side can be a completely different thing. I want you to pay close attention to how I'm holding these end cutters. Now the face has been ground flush, right? These are just Stanley end cutters. I got them at Lowe's, I think, a local hardware store. Uh, it's nice and long too, so you've got lots of leverage. But as I pull those jaws together, if you look, you'll see that I've got my index finger on the inside. So these three fingers are pulling, right, to kind of close the jaws. So the index finger is pushing in the opposite direction. So it's actually supplying inertia against the motion of the jaws. And the reason I'm doing that is because it gives me a very controlled motion. Two things are happening. The face of the cutter is pushing the wood down as the jaw slips in underneath the crown and gently lifts the fret up. So this is how clean those frets came out. Okay, next on the roster we got this 40th anniversary Strat. All you Patreon guys are going to get the front row seat on both these jobs. So we're doing both of these guitars in tandem. So next step is we're going to make sure that we've got the correct amount of load on the truss rod before we start leveling. So the Strat fingerboard is ready for leveling and correction. The Gretsch 6124 is also ready for fingerboard correction and leveling. And we'll be dropping the frets in both these guitars tomorrow. For all of my Patreon subscribers, you'll be getting a front row seat step by step on the complete refret on this 1965-6124 Gretsch, as well as complete instruction step by step on this 40th anniversary Strat. Cheers and thanks for your support.